Well, good morning and welcome to this Saturday's edition of Site Builder Saturday. Today's topic is all about your website goals and how you should set them so that your customers will understand what action that you want them to take on your website. This is a really important step and sometimes people let their developer or they leave it to a whim to just wing it and let that action sort of happen. But it's really important that you plan this out and I'll share with you why. So when you're planning your website, it's important that you understand what stage of the buyer's journey that your customer is in because not everyone is ready to make a purchase when they come to your website. Some people are there just to find information. They might not be quite ready and they might be gathering information. So when you're gearing the pages that provide them information about your product or service, you want to be sure that you give them the option to either read more, which would be a call to action, which would be appropriate for that kind of page, or to download a brochure if you have detailed information that they can download. Now the client or customer who's in that stage is very different than the one who is ready to make a purchase. So on the pages where you're selling your product or a sales page, you want the call to action to give them the ability to take the next step to buy. You want to help them with that. So the goal of that page would be perhaps to call you to place an order or if you have a website that is a store that they could buy now by adding it to their cart. And then another aspect of customers visiting your website is those who are visiting your website after the sale. There is another whole aspect about creating content for those sorts of customers and making sure that the goal that you set there is to either help them or provide them after sale service. So as you can see, it's all about adding value for your customer at the particular stage where they are in the process of buying your product or service. And your goals are what you use to create your calls to action at these various stages. And the calls to action help your customers take the next step that they want to take wherever they are in their process of buying your product or service. Now I want to share with you that these steps that we've been going over, this is week three of the steps, there are eight. Every week I'm sharing a new step with you. These are the same steps that I use when I create custom websites for my customers and my clients. I want to share them with you so that I can take some of the pain out of the process that you might be running into if you're creating your own website. If you want to download the entire PDF with all the eight steps, you can do that on my website. I'll be publishing the link to that in the notes. Next week, we'll be talking about how to plan your web pages, how to know how many pages you should have on your website. We'll delve into that next week. Before we sign off, I want to see if there are any questions out there in, on the internet or on Facebook. So let me take a look and see if we have any questions. Okay, I do see a question and one of my listeners would like to know why go through all this effort of the planning? Why do I have to bother with all this when all I want to do is sell? Well, yes, the primary goal of your website is to sell your product or service, but you want to make it easy for customers to do that. And sometimes you need to build that trust by having some of these pre-sale pages to help the customer understand what your product is all about Understand how it'll solve the pain points that they have or do a particular job for them. Like if it's a broom, perhaps the job is as simple as to help them sweep their floor. That's a really simplistic example, but you understand that there are certain times when a customer is just not ready to purchase and you want to provide them with enough information that builds trust and establishes some sort of relationship with you and makes them want to come back when they are ready to purchase that product. So let's see if there are any other questions before we sign off. 
I'm not seeing any other questions. So that's all for now. Please take care and have a great week. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.